Dr. Bobby Ferentz. I'm an orthopedic surgeon. I graduated from Wayne State Medical School. I graduated in the top 10% of my class. I was Alpha Omega Alpha, which is the National Medical Honor Society, which was a great honor. I did my residency at the Detroit Medical Center. In my training, I found a passion for joint replacements. It was an area where we could improve the patient's quality of life the, the greatest, and I fell in love with that. I started the Joint Plus Excel program, the joint replacement program at Sinai Grace Hospital in Detroit in the year 2004. Well, the X10, I was introduced approximately, I'd say, actually three years ago. Um, I had a patient. He had a very um, difficult knee. So before surgery, he only had about 85 degrees of flexion. He could only bend his knee about 85 degrees because of the quadricep rupture. We utilized the X10 and he obtained, I believe, about 130 degrees of flexion after the surgery, which really impressed me. Since then, I've, I've been sold on the X10 and um, we use it on numerous patients and they all raved about it. They've all just fall in love with it and, um, and you can see the outcomes. These are the patients that are coming in at two weeks without canes or walkers and, and, and their range of motion is just phenomenal. I've had patients who have done one knee using the CPM and one knee using the X10. And they say that the X10 does two things. It allows them to actively use their muscles so their muscles are strengthening at the time of, of, of their exercise, but it also pushes them past that limit where the CPM doesn't. So if they get to a certain point in extension, it'll go just a little bit further where you don't get that with the CPM. So it, it, it passively stretches the knee out and it results in a quicker range of motion. They have very little pain on the X10. Their swelling seems to, to be much less compared to the patients that use the CPM. So their swelling goes down quicker and their strength comes back faster. The other thing patients really enjoy is the, the fact that they're sitting up dur during the procedure versus laying down in a CPM. Um, the, one of the benefits is that the, the uh, uh, X10 also gives them real-time da data on their progress. And it, it allows me to see, a, a, I say, a, a, a cheat sheet to see if they're complying or if they're not complying. We do a, a lot of patients that are obese and we find that the, this, this patient population in particular is progressing much faster with the X10 versus the CPM. Um, patients are much more comfortable on, on the X10. Um, they report less pain on the X10, especially in the obese patient. It's very hard to get a good fit on a CPM. The leg doesn't fit well, their, their pelvis is wide, and so it's very difficult for them to get a good fit in, in the CPM. Where the X10, it's a much more comfortable fit and they, they're able to participate much better with the X10. And the difference between the X10 and manual therapy, the manual therapy, um, the patient oftentimes resists. Where on the X10, the patient can go to the point where they can tolerate it and then just push it a little bit more. So the patient has a little bit more control and, um, and it can progress at their own own pace. What I see in the future, I think the X10 will be the standard of care. It's going to result in much quicker recoveries for the patient and it's going to result in lower um, health care costs.